Hey, I'm so glad you're here to evaluate some expressions with me. We're going to evaluate expressions with one or more variables. And I want to start with this language, evaluate. Evaluate means to find the value of. We're going to be looking at three different expressions. And you'll notice that these expressions have a couple of things in common. They're all a combination of variables, which are the letters that you see numbers, which in algebra we sometimes call constants, and symbols or these mathematical operators, plus and minus and multiply. The other thing they have in common is what they don't have, and none of them have an equal sign. Let's get right to it. In this first example, I've got x plus 2. That means that I've got some value plus 2. So I'm going to write that x plus 2 instead as an empty box plus 2. And I know that I want to put in this empty box my value for x, which is a negative 3. So that gives me negative 3 plus 2. So negative 3 plus 2 doesn't quite get me all the way to positive, but it does give me a negative 1. So my answer, the value of this expression, is a negative 1. Here's our next one. We want to evaluate 2y minus 1 when y is equal to 4. Now this 2 next to the y really means multiplication. So there is a multiplication, and we're going to use a dot instead of an x, because x's look like our variables. So we're going to use a dot for multiplication. So this really means 2 times y minus 1. Now I know that where that y is, I'm going to go ahead and put my value. So 2 times y, which is 4, minus 1. So this is multiplying. Let me put my multiplication symbol back in there. And I'm going to do my multiplication first. 2 times 4 is 8. And 8 minus 1 is equal to our answer, the value of that expression, which is 7. Let's redo 2y minus 1, but this time with a fraction for the value of y. So I still have 2 times my y, so I'm going to go ahead and write a box in for where I put my y, and then minus the 1. Now y is equal to a 1 fourth, so I'm going to put my 1 fourth there. Next I need to do this multiplication, 2 times 1 fourth, but I'm going to think of 2 as a fraction as well. I'm going to think of that as a 2 over 1, and then I can multiply straight across. So as I take Take what I've got. I've got 2 over 1 times 1 over 4 minus 1. Now let's multiply straight across. So I'm going to do the 2 times 1, which is 2. 1 times 4, which is 4. So I get 2 fourths. You can simplify at this point if you want, or you can go ahead and combine your 2 fourths and your minus 1. I'm going to go ahead and use a common denominator here, and that common denominator is actually the only denominator that I have, which is a 4. So let's go ahead and build up that 1 by multiplying it by a 4 over 4. So you can see how, oh my gosh, just throwing a fraction in here gives us quite a bit more work, but I'm really almost there. Now I've got 2 fourths minus 4 fourths. As I am combining these, I collect my numerator, and that's going to give me 2 minus 4 all divided by 4. Now I'm just about there. 2 minus 4 is negative 2 divided by 4, and I can cancel. 2 goes into everybody. 2 goes into 2 one time, 2 goes into 4 two times, and I end up with our answer, finally, of a negative 1 half. Here comes our next one. Now I've got one with two variables, both an a and a b. Let's put this one together. So as I put this one together, I've got 3, and that's going to be a 3a, which is going to be 3 times a. So 3 times a minus our b. So I want 3 times a, which is 5, minus that value for b. I'm going to put that guy in a box because b is a negative 2. Now I end up with a negative times a negative. You can also think of this as the opposite of a negative. The negative of a negative becomes plus. Let's do our multiplication. 3 times 5 is 15. I took care of those two negatives and created from the two negatives a positive, And that leaves me with a 2. 15 plus 2 is equal to 17, so that's my value. In this last one, I want you to see if you can do it. I know you can. In this case, I've got 3 times a minus b, same one that we just did, but this time with a 2 and with a 1. 
let's see how you did, or go ahead and follow along with me. So I've got three times my a, but a is equal to two. And remember, we're multiplying, so I'm gonna put in that dot for multiplication, minus b, and b is equal to one. So I've got my a there and my b there. Okay, let's do our multiplication. Three times two is equal to six minus one, and six minus one is equal to five. I will bet you anything that you are doing great. Check out my next video on simplifying expressions, and thanks for watching.